my hair is looking a little crazy that's okay it's almost wash day don't panic <laughs> um i put out a video on how to stretch your hair with a blow dryer if you would like to see that video i will link it down below also um my hair is on day five so i went to the gym today and yeah my hair shrunk down a lot because yesterday i stretched my hair with a blow dryer but i don't stretch my hair with a blow dryer every single day yeah so basically at night i band my hair i don't uh sometimes at night i band my hair not every night but i band my hair sometimes at night to keep it stretched the banding method is basically like you're not using heat on your hair you're just using a hair scrunchie to band all the way down to keep your hair stretched and if you guys want to see a video on how i do the banding method on my hair for like a nighttime routine let me know i will make a video on that soon if your hair is short like mine i cut my hair about almost two weeks ago and my hair is very very short like i cut it off so it's very short this is how it looks in its natural state my hair needs to wash um but wash day i will wash my hair in two more days so what i did i added some hair oil to my hair i used the miley hair oil and i can't remember the exact name for it but i will link that down below if you're interested in purchasing that I use that in my hair so now what I'm going to do is I am going to spritz my hair with water and let me show you how to do that so I have some warm water and I'm just going to spritz all around my hair I'll show you guys how to do a puff on short natural hair so first thing I have some water this is warm water by the way and i'm just gonna spritz all around my hair with the water i'm not gonna put too much water in my hair just enough to get it damp so it could be easier to work with and i'm also spritz spritzing a little bit of water on my natural hair this is how my hair looks in the back i don't know if you can see <laughs> but yeah she's dry she's ready to be washed it's just not washed it yet so yeah i wash my hair once a week my hair looks nice and damp i didn't add too much water because you don't want to get it soaking wet you just want it to be damp that's how it looks now if you want to pick the roots you can but i don't like to pick my hair i just like to fluff it out with my hands so i'm just using my hands to fluff out my hair a little bit all right so now i am going to use some of the miley leave-in conditioner and i will link it down below and i'm just gonna take about that amount I'm using the pomegranate, what's it called? Pomegranate and honey leave-in. I'm just putting it all around my edges, really getting it through my hair. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit on my hair, not a lot. So I'll show you the amount that I'm gonna add. This is all I'm adding to my natural you don't have to add a lot of leave-in conditioner by the way i dyed my hair jet black almost two weeks ago so if you see like little specks of black hair dye on my hands you know why <laughs> and just like kind of rub it in your hair this is what my hair is looking like I'm gonna take some of the Maya Lee pomegranate and honey custard. And that's what the custard looks like. 
And I'm just gonna add a little bit onto my natural hair and my edges. So we're gonna add some to the edges first. And then I'm gonna add a little bit to, like that, to my actual natural hair. And just kind of pick it out. You can use a comb to pick your hair or you can use your hands. I prefer to use my hands to pick my hair. So this is how my hair is looking like, very moisturized. You can see that, uh, is way manageable now like it's not as like dry how it was before so i'm just gonna add a little bit more water all around my edges this is the edge control i will be using i always use this edge control this is my favorite edge control I haven't found an edge control that I liked more than this edge control. This is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Edge Control and I'll link that down below. Everything I use in my hair, it will be in the description bar. Also, this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using two bands to put my hair in a puff and this is the brush I will be using. This is a hard bristle brush. If you don't like hard bristle brush, you can just use a soft brush, but I don't mind using a hard brush on my hair. So I'm gonna take some edge control now. Taking this amount. And I'm just going to add it all around my hair. You wanna make sure you get it all in the back of your hair. It's really hard to put your hair in a puff when it's short, so I'm just showing you how to make it more easy for you. Oh, my earring. Let's put that back in. So now that you got your edge control all over your edges, just get your brush and brush all your hair up. So now that your hair is kind of brushed up, you want to decide if you want a low puff or a higher puff. Me personally, right now, I want like a lower puff. So I'm gonna try to do it like, you'll see. <laughs> so I have two bands here and they're pretty like strong and you know, it won't break or anything. So you just wanna take your bands and fluff your hair up first. So you can push it up if you want like a higher puff or you can push it going towards the back. I'm gonna push it more towards the back. So you just push it back like that and just keep fluffing, just keep fluffing out your curls. So I'm pretty much satisfied of where my puff is staying. I like it to be a little bit pushed back like that. If you want it more forward, just kind of like push the back up going forward. I prefer this my puff to be. And I'm gonna show you the back. I'm gonna try to turn around and show you the back. That's how the back is looking. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, 
so yeah so now that your puff is done it's fluffed out it's moisturized it's looking so cute girl <laughs> um, this is the part where you do your edges it's kind of hard for me to film doing my edges but i'm gonna try my best to show you guys how i do my edges adding a little bit more edge control to my edges before i swoop it down your brush or you can take like a edge brush i don't know where my edge brush is right now so i'm just going to use this brush and you just swoop i do have a baby hair tutor tutorial on my channel i will link that down below if you want to check that out you just kind of like hold it down and swoop Hey you guys, so this is the results of my puff on my short natural hair. Washing my hair in like two days. I wash my hair once a week and I'll just leave my hair in a puff until it's wash day. I'll just put on a scarf around my edges and just put a um, bonnet on, you know, for my little puff. okay so i just want to show you more of how my puff is looking you can see like it's so shiny and moisturized and yeah i'll be wearing my hair like this for the next two days until i'm um ready to wash my hair so i will be pushing out a lot of natural hair content on this channel i am a new youtuber i am a baby youtuber which means i am not monetized or i don't have a lot of subscribers to my channel so yeah i enjoy making youtube videos so if you want to see natural hair content and you enjoy you know learning about your natural hair this is the channel for you i'll be pushing out the videos i'll be way more consistent on this channel i know i was very inconsistent but i am back to being more consistent to help you guys out with your natural hair so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. This will be a whole natural hair care series. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Bye.